Hi, I'm Eric Miller from Kipsey. And if you're in manufacturing, warehouse, supply chain, or many other industries, then you know that proper use of personal protective equipment or PPE is really important for worker safety. But how do you ensure that PPE is being used properly by everyone, everywhere, all the time? And how can you track and report on PPE usage? Well, welcome to Kipsey's Built in Five Minutes video series, where we pick a real world business problem and show you how you can solve that problem using the Kipsey Computer Vision platform. We'll walk you through it from start to finish in about five minutes. So let's get started with today's problem and build a Kipsey application to monitor the use of personal protective equipment. Now, if you don't already have a Kipsey account, you can register for a free trial at kipsey.com just by clicking get started. Then go ahead and log in. First, let's create a site. For this example, let's say we want to monitor PPE usage on one of the loading docks of our St. Louis warehouse. So we'll go ahead and name our site St. Louis Warehouse and click Create. Now, a site in Kipsy can contain any number of camera streams, but we need at least one to test our application. So let's go ahead and create our camera stream, provide the URL of the IP security camera that we already have out on the loading dock, and click Next. Now, Kipsy can detect PPE in the entire frame of the camera stream, but just to make it more interesting, let's also assume that there's a specific region of our loading dock where we really want to ensure that PPE is being used properly. In our demo loading dock here, you can see that region is marked on the ground with caution tape. Now, we're ready to build our Kipsy application to detect PPE. To do this, click on Applications, Create Application, name our application PPE Detection, and click Create to open the low-code application designer. Now, Kipsy applications are built from three foundational building blocks. Static items, which is like the caution tape region in our example loading dock. Detected items that use pre-trained computer vision models to detect the item we care about. And events that define conditions that we can action on, such as sending an email, SMS message, or even a webhook. First, let's go ahead and create a detected item for our workers wearing PPE. Click the Add Item icon, choose Detected Item, and name it Worker. Then search the library of pre-trained detectors for the person detector, add the PPE enhancer, and click Save. Great, now our application will detect workers anywhere in the frame and tell us if they are wearing their PPE. But what if our loading dock only exists in part of the frame of the camera feed? Or what if we only care about PPE being used in a specific region, like our caution tape example? Let's go ahead and create a static item to address that. Click on Add Item, choose Static Item, name it Safety Region, and hit Save. Awesome. Now we have a region we can use to determine when workers are inside or outside the safety zone. To do that, let's create a relationship between the safety region and the workers. On the safety region, click the plus icon to add a new attribute. As you can see here, Kipsy has a rich set of attributes that can be used to build very complex applications. But for our purposes, we want to know when workers are inside the safety zone. So we'll give our relationship a name and target the worker item with the proximity type relationship. Click next. Ensure the default of inside is selected and then click save. That's it, our application is finished. Let's go ahead and publish the first version of our app, then we're ready to deploy our app to the loading dock camera at our St. Louis warehouse. Let's navigate back to our St. Louis warehouse site, click the deployments icon, and then click the plus sign to add a new deployment. Choose the PPE detection app we just built and click create. The deployment features in Kipsy makes it really easy to deploy the same application to multiple cameras without having to build a separate application for each camera feed. So let's click Configure Deployment to configure our PP app for our loading dock camera. First, choose the app version we want, choose the camera stream for the loading dock, specify one for the number of safety regions in the feed, and give our region a name. Next, let's tell Kipsy where our static region is in this particular feed, then click Close and we're ready to launch our deployment. To launch the deployment, just click Launch and Confirm. And that's it, you're done. Your Kipsy application is now running. You can see the live view showing the data stream of workers being detected, as well as each worker's PPE state, null for no PPE, one for one piece of PPE, and two for two pieces of PPE. Let's open the visual debugger to take a look at the live video. Here we can see three workers in our safety zone. One of them is wearing the vest and the helmet, so he's fully protected with two required pieces of PPE. But the other two are only wearing vests, so they only show up as wearing one piece of PPE. And they need to put their helmets on. Notice as soon as the worker in the middle puts on his helmet, he switches to a two and he's good to go. Now, all this data you can see being captured 
in the time series database for historical reporting and integrations with other systems, as well as real-time monitoring, alerting, and visualizations. Here's an example of a simple visualization on top of that data stream, where blue indicates a worker outside the safety zone, red indicates inside the zone, but not protected, yellow indicates inside the zone, but only partially protected, and green indicates inside the safety zone and wearing the full set of required PPE. And that's it a PPE detection app using computer vision that you can build yourself in just a few minutes. So if you have a problem you'd like to see featured in a future built in five minutes video, please let us know at kipsy.com using the let's chat button or the live chat feature. We'd love to hear from you and look forward to hearing your ideas. Until next time, thanks for watching.